back to get wreck uh, another installment of big slides battle blog um, this one's gonna be over judging criteria um, now everything you're gonna hear from me today comes from first and foremost a super battle fan um, you know everybody knows battle fans are are, 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 are super opinionated and you know um, you know, and most of them are, are newbies to this. You know, they, they, they've come around over the last three to five years since the emergence of the URL or whatever, and they will argue with you to the end of the planet on why um, K Shine is the best rapper battler on, on, on the planet, and but they can't tell you what Scribble Jam was or don't know about them, them jump off two on twos. You know, I was there for all of that. You know, I remember in my DJ days, I used to get my vinyl from a little place on the south side. And I went in there one day to upgrade my vinyl collection, and uh, they had a Scribble Jam tape on. It was Sage Francis versus Idea or some shit, and fell in love. Like obviously, you know, we used to rap back in the day, little battles in the in the cafeteria, but it was more like snap sessions in in rhyme form. It was it was the first time I really ever saw a a structured battle like that. So, uh, you know. That bled into, you know, I used to have a VHS that I would record. All the 106 and Park Freestyle Fridays. Them Blaze Battles uh, HBO used to have. Them MTV events with, with Marv One and all them. And, you know, then in early 2000s, used to be able to get on LimeWire and Kazaa and download Smack Battles and Battles Out of Philly and, and, and you know, and later on, the the, uh, the Jump Off days, they used to release like 10 battles every Sunday on Jump Off. And uh, I used to get up every Sunday like it was Christmas morning and wait for them 10 battles to be released. You know, I've been here for, for all that. The emergence of grind time, all that, every step of the way. So, you know, historically certified battle mark. And, and, and also, from you know, I, I, I'm a judge. So, you know, I judge the battles for here for the for the School of Thought here in, here in Oklahoma City. Um, and I take it seriously. Like, you know, the day of an event, you won't catch me smoking or drinking, none of that. I don't want to, you know, I want to be sober. I want to catch all the metaphors, the nuances, the angles. You know, I don't want to get, this one of the few times you'll catch me straight up sober at a show or an event like that. You know, I don't want to get drunk and get too caught up in being entertained by your mama pussy so stank jokes. So, you know, if Ronnie thinks enough of me to ha have me come in, and he thinks enough of my battle opinion and my knowledge to give him, you know, tell him what I think, I, I want to get it right. You know what I'm saying? So I have a unique outlook on battles being you know a battle fan for you know 15 to 20 last 15 to 20 years and judging live battles you know what i'm saying so um you know that being said the first thing i want to get into is should battles be judged at all the url um this is the pinnacle you know where everybody's striving to get there like i said before um they don't even judge their battles you know what i'm saying it's kind of like the m you know the nba not even having refs or, or, or something along those lines. So every other battle league on the planet has their battles judged except for the top dog league. There's something to be said for that. They don't even judge their battles. You know, um, you know, King of the Dot, Grind Time back in the day, all these other leagues judge their battles, but they also do a lot of promo battles. When a bigger name comes in or whatever, they won't uh, have it judged. It's just promo. Um, I think people do that because they're scared of taking a loss due to bad judging. You know, all, all this time and effort goes into battle matchups. Like, you know, you, quality control. You're not even good enough to be in my league. Or these two guys' styles clash, so that wouldn't be a good matchup. And these two got, do, so we got to make this happen. So much is, is is goes into quality control for the battles, and there's almost none of that with judging. You know, you know, ten minutes for the battle. You, 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 and you. Y'all are judging. You know, and and two or three of them cats aren't even from the battle culture. They may be rappers or or whatever. But you've heard me say a million times, just because. You know rap, hip hop and rap on a track, rap songs, don't mean you know this necessarily. So, you know, I think there should be that quality control with the judges. Just, you know, there should be an, as much quality control with the judges as there is uh, the battlers. You know, each league should have five to seven judges uh, or whatever that they, a pool of judges that they pick from every time. That way it kind of goes across the board what to expect from this from from this league and these judges and the battlers have a better uh, idea of what to go for and what not to go for you know um which leads me into how do you judge a battle um you know nameless and king of the dot has some kind of numerical thing that he does the 2.0 system or whatever and i don't think you can break it down to a formula but if he's doing it and picking the right winner you know more power to him how i personally do it is the round by round. In a three round battle, whoever wins two rounds wins. 
Now, that's not set in stone. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people think if, you know, you lose the first two rounds, battle's over. Not even a reason for a third. You know, I don't, I don't, you know I'm not going there with it. I think, you know, even though I just said you can't numerically break it down, just for argument's sake, let's say you win the first round 9 to 10, and you win the second round 9 to 10, and then the third round your fucking opponent snaps and your material is subpar, and he wins 10 to 6. You know, that's a bigger margin for that one round than the other two rounds combined. So I would, you know, even though you won two rounds, I still would give it to the cat that only won one round. So, you know, for the most part, I do it round by round, but it doesn't break down like that as a, you know, always constant. That's that's not, you know, concrete. Um, you know, if you choke, you know, there's a million things that go into that, which leads me into if you choke, does that equal an automatic loss? Um, a lot of people, you know, I don't think it equals an automatic loss. It definitely hurts you. A lot of people will say it, it, you know, it equals automatic loss for the round. You know, I don't necessarily even believe that. You know, it, you know, for the most part, yes. If you if you choke, I, you you will lose that round. But say, you know, if you're spitting some material uh, uh, at a ten, and you stumble a little bit and get right back into your shit, and the other cat is spitting a seven, and he spits all the way through and doesn't stumble. I still may give you the battle, the, the round, even with that stumble. Now, there's a, a shitload of ways to choke. There's the stumble and get back to it. There's the repeating your laugh has to your laugh has last half of your bar multiple times and then get back into your shit. There's the freestyle till you get into your shit. There's the fucking oh shit during the headlight stop rapping altogether. You know that that stop rapping altogether during the headlight shit will cost you the battle. Pretty much, that you know, for for the most part, you can't. Ain't too many times you can recover from that completely. Um, so you know, if if you if you're if you're gonna freestyle to try to catch back onto your shit, um, don't point out your freestyling and don't point out that you fucked up. Like um, dilemma verse young verse at the last school of thought event. He said he was he was rapping, st stumbled, said, oh, I fucked up, then went right back into his written. And had he not pointed out that he fucked up, I don't think we would have known he fucked up. So, you know, don't oh, all freestyle off top of the dome. Don't don't freestyle about freestyling. You know, that shit's going to hurt you. You know, do what you got to do to get back on your written material and, and, and keep the shit going. Um, now, I saw online where some judges are, you know, were apparently defending using crowd reaction as a as a uh, criteria for who, who won the battle. And I and I hate that. Let me tell you why. Um, you choose judges that are knowledgeable about battle culture, that understand subtle angles and, and, and you know, maybe personals. If you didn't watch, you know, I bring up something you said three battles ago. If you didn't see that battle, you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But a judge should know that. You know what I'm saying? Um, you leave it up to the crowd to decide and they're going to pick, you know, the hometown guy obviously is going to have a lot more reaction. You know, if there's a gang of girls in the in the audience. They may cheer, scream hardcore for the cute one, the light skinned cat, whatever the fuck. Um, uh, you know, at 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 School of Thought Seven, um, Blaze versus Duo. Blaze is from out of town, Dallas. Duo's from Oklahoma City. Freestyle legend. It was his first time back in almost a decade. Everybody was dying to see Duo. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, especially me. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody was more excited to see Duo in that motherfucker than me. You know, um, he says at one point, this is just an example. He says at one point, um, something along the lines of, I know you couldn't hang with me from a keychain. And it went with the rhyme scheme. It, it was really dope. You know, it sounded really dope with what, how he built up to it. And the crowd, pff, crowd popped. You know, love, the crowd loves it. A few minutes later, uh, Blaze says, um, you're, you're good, but I'm a god. Poseidon isn't threatened by Michael Phelps. Crickets. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, if you compare the two lines, you know, Duo's line barely qualifies as a punchline, or, or, and it's not hard hitting. You know, there's not much cleverness to it when compared to the, the Poseidon-Michael Phelps line, you know. Um, you know, I think a lot of people just missed it in the moment in the audience. I think if you took a big number of the audience and set them down after the battle and explained who Poseidon was and all that, they probably still wouldn't get it. You know what I'm saying? So just the crowd isn't qualified to judge a battle is what I'm saying. But if you go off of just them two lines and the reaction it got, Duo wins that, you know, for on on a less clever line. And, you know, and that's just an example. That's, you know, that's one line from each cat in a whole battle. You know, I'm just using this as an example to, to get my point across as to why you don't use crowd reaction as a, as a criteria. 
Um, you know, but apparently that's a no no for me. But apparently, a lot of cats are out there judging battles based on, like, you know, if if you're an MC and you and you can get people, you can get the crowd on your side, whether you're rapping at a show or 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 in a lunchroom or at a, in the park, wherever the fuck, if you can get people to go, oh wait, what he's rapping? Let me go hear this. That you want that. That equals CD sold. That you know, that's what you want to get people's attention. It just doesn't necessarily help you in a battle. It helps you intangibly in that if you get the crowd on your side, that helps your confidence and you're like, yeah, I, I got him now. Or, or if if you're rapping and the crowd's not on your side, you start questioning yourself, oh shit, maybe I'm not as hot as I think I am. You know, so it intangibly helps you or hurts you, but it doesn't go into, uh, as far as I'm concerned, doesn't go into a judging criteria. Um, so yeah, uh, judging criteria, that wraps up this installment of the Big Slack Battle Blog. Uh, if you liked it, give me a like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you got battle rappers or fans on your Facebook, your Twitter, whatever, retweet me. Uh, you know, reshare me. You know, all that. Uh, yeah.